My name is Jody Guerra, and I am with Excelsior Classes. I want to just thank you for your interest, for stopping by, for even clicking and watching this video. What I wanted to do is maybe spend a few minutes telling you a little bit about myself and a little bit about um, the Excelsior Classes Consortium of Teachers and maybe share with you some things that are unique about us and that might um, be a good fit for your for your vision of what you might want to see in your own home school. So as I said, my name is Jody Guerra and I have been a homeschool mom for a very long time. <laughs> um, we're, we're closing in on almost two and a half decades of homeschooling. Um, I've graduated three children. Those three kids have finished college. Um, I still have one caboose kid who is homeschooling here at home. Um, he is now in high school, so I'm I'm somewhat nearing the end of my own homeschooling journey, uh, but it's it's been a, a wonderful one with many blessings. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about education, and I can just tell you that it works, that this lifestyle and this uh, method of learning is something that can be one of the greatest blessings in your life and in your student's life. So I, I hope that is an encouragement to you. My, um, as I mentioned, those three kids did um, end up going to college, the three oldest ones. Um, they did receive scholarship funding. And one of the reasons that I found my way to online learning was really because I needed, um, I needed some help in my homeschool journey. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. You know, back when I first started homeschooling, it was really the late 90s, and um, there, there wasn't a lot of choice in terms of curriculum and what you could choose, and there certainly wasn't anything online. Um, I think that there were about maybe less than 2% of people that were choosing homeschooling as an educational option for their, their own families. Um, but now after the pandemic and everything else, you know, I think some estimates are saying that there it's anywhere, you know, between eight and 11% and, and it could be even more by now. Um, but it is different, right? It's perhaps different from how you as a parent and how you may have been educated. And so there's, there's a lot of learning that parents have to do as well, right? Like you need to think through what you want for your own family, what you would like to see for your student, and then, you know, kind of customize it for your own um, students, natural inclinations, perhaps for their learning styles, and, you know, what you would like to see accomplished. Um, I started teaching online in 2011. And in 2016, um, I kind of founded this um, consortium of teachers. And what I wanted to see happen, and I thought this was really critical, was just the promise of harnessing like technology with really great teachers for a college preparatory experience. That, that that's what really, you know, kind of took off in my mind. And that you could do that in a way that was excellent and good and energizing for everyone involved. And so through, you know, just not just the teaching and not just the interactivity in the community of learners, but also, you know, through the administrative processes and that all, all of those stakeholders or whatever would win, right? Like there would be, the students would win, parents would win, administration, teachers, families that, that I wanted it to be a win-win all the way around. So that's kind of what's informed uh, 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 us from the very beginning that we want to do things with excellence and we want to present families with a viable college preparatory learning option for their students. Um, and I thank our families for entrusting so many of their students with us. Over the last several years, we've just enjoyed that entire realm of working with your students mentoring them, discipling them sometimes. And it's just, it is our heart's reward, right? Uh, to to be able to, to pour into the lives of students and families. Um, and we have been recognized um, by many of you through your recommendations. Um, Very Well Family has recognized us as a 
number one teacher led homeschooling program, Christian program. And um, we have won some awards through the iLearn uh, Practical Homeschooling Awards for, and we thank you for that because those are voted on by families, by by just, you know, customers. So we thank you for that, for that opportunity. But now, you know, we're getting into the uh, post-pandemic, I guess, time period. And, and our world is very different, right? Um, parents have so many different choices. You can go to public school online. You can do pod schools. You can have private tutors for every subject, co-ops in which parents are teaching every kind of live class variation that you can think of. And then we have all of the algorithm-based products. Um, you know, those are kind of online where the uh, student is watching a video maybe and, and answering quiz questions. And there's just a, a multitude of ways that one can go about educating one's children. And that's not even talking about, you know, the rate, rise of um, artificial intelligence and what that may, might mean. Um, for the future. And all of that is, I know, being discussed and looked at, and, and we are too. We want to stay on the cutting edge of those things. And over the last several months, I've really been reflecting on all of this and in conversations with parents and, and what, what does that mean? And I think what it comes down to and what all of us here at Excelsior Classes believe in is that the right teacher can make all of the difference in online homeschooling, in life, and in your students learning. I'm gonna just say that again, because I just think it's so critical. The right teacher can make all the difference. Um, that was my own story with my oldest child and how I came to the online learning idea and, and began working in it. My, my own child was ready to launch, but I needed someone with, that could provide a rigorous curriculum and that would hold my student accountable. I needed somebody that could mentor that student and could answer questions in ways that I couldn't. It was time to for mom's time to end and for him to go forward. And that's how I came to the online learning thing because moms and dads, I know it's a big job just being a mom and dad, but when you put on the principal hat, the guidance counselor, the teacher for all the subjects, it becomes overwhelming, especially in the high school years. So that's how I came to online learning, looking for the right teacher that could make a difference in my own kids' lives. And so that all of this is really an outgrowth. All of Excelsior classes, our consortium of teachers and what we do is an outgrowth of that notion that the right teacher can help. And even with all of the things going on in our world and in education, parents are looking for an expert many times. I know I was an expert for the curation of what needed to happen in the class, for the instruction, for the feedback. And that's what the teachers here provide. Across all the subject areas, we have a group of teachers that know what needs to be covered, that can have, tell you the scope and sequence, They've read all the books. They've done all the math problems. They know what to do. And to me, that was invaluable. That was invaluable because I was not prepared to teach chemistry. I couldn't do it. And even though um, my background is in Latin and my background, I have an English and a history background as well. Oh, goodness. My kids were so tired of getting their feedback from me. I needed that outside accountability. So I think that's going to be true no matter what's happening in the future. Because that outside of the accountability partner and that person that can ignite the curiosity of your student and that can create a community of learners in the classroom, that's critical. That's critical because students, all of us, not just students, but you know, people, we are meant, God intends us to be in community with each other. And so it is critical that uh, that we strive to provide that. Even if it's a virtual community, there are vital aspects of that in our classes. And our students are regularly asking us to please open a discussion question or can I um, please over the break week, I, I don't want to go on break. I I'm going to miss my friends. How can I contact them? So we are working vitally, not just on the academic side of things, 
and also that sense of community and that sense of belonging. It's so important for that. Okay, the other thing that I think of when I think about this kind of new, brave new world in many ways that we're inhabiting right now, from the very beginning of at least, yeah, beginning of time, it's mentorship, tutoring, and just that idea of an apprentice, um, someone to study under, that has been around from time immemorial, right? We see that in the Bible where people um, like Samuel at the temple, he goes to learn, right? Paul had many, many wonderful teachers that he continued to, um, that he studied under and learned from and then took that knowledge and went forward. That's what we want to be about. We want to we want to continue that tradition of educational excellence because our goal is to sow into your students' lives, not just the academics, but that constant calming presence of a teacher. For me as a student, when I think back on my own education, it was just invaluable. It was just invaluable. And I'm still in touch with some of my teachers. You may be too. You may be too. That's the wonderful thing about the internet, right? We can stay in touch with people. And no matter how high tech we become, we are meant for that community. So those are the kinds of things that have been on my mind. Um, and I know that that uh, that may be on your mind as well, right? Um, I hope that you will take a look at what we have to offer, the various classes, our teachers. So I encourage you to contact us, visit our website, ask us some questions. So we have a lot of blogs. We have a YouTube channel. We want to get to know you so that you can figure out whether we are a good fit for you and for your learner. I so appreciate your time today. Thank you and best and most glorious blessings on your homeschool journey.